Hi, in this video I'll show you how to crack the code that NSA tweeted earlier today. So looking at this code, the first impression is uh, that uh, we're going to deal with a substitution cipher. And the reason why is because we have characters here and characters which are grouped into 12 character blocks. Um, usually we would see uh, an ongoing set of characters if there was some binary um, conversion taking place. Uh, but the 12 character blocks imply that someone went to lengths to um, make it into grouping and yet prevent us from using the length of English words to uh, decipher uh, what these words might be. So in English language we have words that are longer and shorter. Example right here, thanks for the shout out. Of course the would be a three character word and uh, that makes it easier for us then to figure out certain details in the process. But the 12 character groups actually make it a little bit more difficult. We can see special character question mark in the middle. Um, what I don't see are uh, double equal signs, which typically imply base 64. Uh, so we're looking at a substitution um, cipher. Well, let's bring up a tool and uh, first do a, a copy and paste of uh, this text. Uh, let's go ahead and copy that. And uh, this particular tool, which you can use other tools, will help us to analyze this particular code. So uh, the analysis is going to um, help us to figure out our next steps. In the English language, we have certain frequencies of letters. And each language actually has its own frequency, which is why a lot of times with the substitution ciphers, you can figure out, first of all, what language the clear text is written. And then from there, you can uh, deduce what uh, the actual message is. So uh, in English language, letter E is most commonly used, although there's an entire novel uh, called Gatsby, which is written without a letter E in it. You can check it on Wikipedia. Uh, so if this was a long message, uh, longer than what we have here, then we could actually trust these uh, statistics. Uh, and uh, there's probably a good chance that between letter I and N, uh, in some combination, letters P and K do um, correspond. But because our message is fairly short, uh, likely we don't have this in the right sequence. Uh, but if this was a longer message, we simply would uh, substitute uh, for letter P, uh, letter E, and then for letter C, letter T, and then for letter uh, I, letter A, and for letter D, letter O. All right, and so at this point we would have hoped to see some elements of um, English words. Uh, actually, we would continue here with uh, letter F, uh, letter I, and uh, KN. Uh, All right, and so you can see that we have certain groupings here that with enough fiddling, all right, would give us an idea of what correct sequence uh, we, uh, we have here. Okay, but we could spend a few hours doing it this way, and this would be the way to actually figure out the substitution cipher. Uh, there are automation tools, though, that'll help. For example, the words uh, that are in the dic uh, English dictionary uh, are in uh, digital form. So a computer program can randomize these letters much quicker than we can, and then try to detect English words. Another way to play with this text is to use some of the tools that are already online. So let's uh, Google um, substitution cipher and we want to use a JavaScript because JavaScript allows us to work just in the browser. It's not a server-side technology so that our ciphertext could be perhaps saved and then uh, cracked 
by someone else. So the first um, uh, website here uh, gives us uh, uh, a tool like that. So we have a nice introduction about what substitution ciphers are and Caesar cipher of course is a great example of that. And uh, as we scroll down we have an example application. Now all I have to do at this point is just try it out. I will say decrypt and oh look at that. This is actually the perfect random <laughs> key which is actually embedded in this website that lets us to decrypt want to know what it takes to work at NSA so there it is uh, possibly uh, when this message was being created this website was used to uh, encrypt uh, the code at any rate um, cracking code sometimes does uh, involve a fortunate uh, sequence of events if you are serious about playing with cracking code, I would recommend uh, Backtrack, which is a Linux distribution with a number of tools which will allow you to get that level of automation that I mentioned before, where the English dictionary is used and um, you'll, you'll, you'll have uh, uh, more success uh, with uh, cracking code. Finally, I also want to recommend Khan Academy, uh, Khan Academy videos on cryptography. Now you can click any of these links here, but they will take you to uh, Khan Academy uh, recordings, which will introduce the Caesar cipher. Uh, it'll introduce you to uh, cryptography in general, but then also um, explain how you can detect languages and uh, through uh, substitution ciphers and just a really nice entry-level um, lessons on cryptography. If you'd like to see what uh, the NSA message looks like when it is decrypted by hand, uh, this is what the combination of the characters and then the ciphertext characters lineup looks like. Thank you very much.